A new search today for a Cabbage Town man missing since June. It took place this morning in Dawn River Valley Park. 49 year old Andrew Kinsman was last seen after Pride celebrations on June 26 in the Parliament and Winchester Street area. Today's search was organized after a friend noticed the area on a map online. This is completely in the middle of nature. I've never even seen it myself, but it's completely a beautiful walking trail that might be the type of place Andrew went walking. And when I contacted his family and friends uh, through the Facebook group I have, through the other Facebook group, no one even knew this area existed. So none of us have personally searched this area before. So we've set out this morning and I've got a bunch of volunteers to help and we're going to head out along this old railway track. Neighbors, friends, even complete strangers took part in the search. One woman who never even met Kinsman joined in, something she felt was the right thing to do. If it was me and it was my loved one, I would really hope that people in the neighborhood who could come out would spend some time to at least give the confidence that this is not the area to look. Last night on City News at 11, Adrian Gobriel spoke with Andrew Kinsman's sister. He was the baby when mom brought him home. My sister and I, we were 15 and 14, and he was our, our toy. We took care of him. And as he grew older and we grew older, we kind of took over the parenting role and took him everywhere we went. Childhood photos show a young Andrew Kinsman. His shaggy hair compliments of his two sisters who were self-professed hippies back in the day. He had tie-dye t-shirts. I embroidered his pants. He was just, he was our baby. He had everything. Patricia Kinsman holds on to memories of helping raise Andrew on their parents' four-acre Pickering property. The Kinsman family and Andrew had grown apart over the years, but she knows her brother well enough to know it's not like him to just get up and vanish. His phone was turned off and his cat was left for two days without food and water. My gut feeling is he's not with us anymore. 51 Division Police have set up a task force of officers who've been assigned to search for Andrew Kinsman and another man, Salim Essen, who disappeared back in April. Though police cannot say whether or not the two missing persons' cases are linked. It's hard to sleep. You know, you wake up in the morning, you think about him. I think about him all day. I go to bed, I think about him, where he is, and if he is alive, what he's going through. Closure is what we need, one way or the other. We just, we need closure. His friends really need closure. And anyone with any information on the disappearance of either man should get in touch with police or Crime Stoppers.